from the past. From the past. That's kind of strange. I wonder what that means. Hello everyone. Welcome to Friday's video. I hope you've all had a great week so far. Today's lesson is called writing and drawing a postcard to your future self. Fun fact, did you know that postcards used to actually be called private mailing cards? And it wasn't until the early, early 1900s where private mailing cards got their name changed to postcards. Interesting, right? All right, let's get back to the video so I can tell you why we're doing this lesson in the first place. Well, number one, I wanted us to combine our drawing abilities and writing abilities together. Number two, I hope this lesson teaches us a little bit more about the importance of communication and how people do communicate with each other. And finally, I wanna try something out that I've never done with you before. So, what is a postcard exactly? A postcard is something that looks like this. A postcard usually has a picture and a space to write. And usually what the picture represents is somewhere where we are now, and the writing has to also do with where you are. Why would somebody write a postcard in the first place? And when would they do that? Well, for me, I know that I would write a postcard if I missed some family or friends, if I was far away. And I would write them a postcard because I would want them to see my experiences and to read about them. Picture and words. From the past. From the past. That's kind of strange, I wonder what that means. Well, this is a postcard that I actually wrote for myself a few days ago, and I wrote it to my future self. What I did was I started with a picture right here, and then I wrote on the back. And what I did after, what I, after when I was done writing, I found a place where I am right now, a place that I would remember uh, to check for this and to remind myself that I made it. So this is sort of similar for what I want us to do today. So this is what I want us to start thinking about right now. I want us to start thinking about these questions. Question number one, what do I want to write to my future self? I wanted to write down happy Friday, Mr. Hadley, because I knew that I wanted to open this on Friday. And are you excited for the weekend? I wanted to write that down because I knew that the weekend comes right after Friday. And I really, really look forward to the weekend. I think it's always nice to be asked. Are you excited? Question number two, what do I want to draw? for my future self. So I chose this drawing for my postcard because I knew that I would be really drawn to the little designs here. I really find them interesting always. And also the 3D text too. And I think the title from the past is kind of interesting as well. I knew that that would draw me in. Question number three, is communicating with my future self important to me and why? It's very important for me to be able to communicate with my future self because when I look at something like this, it reminds me that my past self was interested in who I was right now. My past self was thinking and was curious about how will things be? How will I feel in the future? And I think that's really interesting to see. And also it gives me more ideas on how I could communicate with my future self as well. And question number four, where would I want to put my postcard so that I'll remember to check it later? When I was done with the first postcard that I made for myself, I decided to put it on the fridge because it was at a place that I knew was convenient where I would see it and be reminded that I would want to open it someday. Now that I think about it, these postcards are reminding me of a time capsule. And I think that some of you know what a time capsule is. If you don't, a time capsule is something that contains objects inside of it, and it's usually buried for later. You bury it in the present, and then you dig it out in the future, so that your future self can see what your past self left for you in the future. I think that makes sense. I hope all of what I just said was a little helpful as far as starting the postcard to your future self. Now I'm gonna get started with my postcard to my future self. This is just one way you can start to do it. You can do this many, many ways, all right? But this is just one way and this is how I'm gonna do it. So first I'm gonna start with the back of the postcard because I wanna give myself time to figure out what it is I want to draw to my future self, all right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna make a wavy line this side is going to be what I write to my future self, and this side is going to be what is two. I'm gonna write down three lines here. One, two, three. And I'm gonna write to my future. Oh, I gotta erase that, it does not look like an R. All right, so today, let's see. Today is Friday, May 8th, 2020. I'm going to write present day five dash 8, 2020. Today, let's see, how far in the future do I want to go? I'll go a month. 2020. All right, so I figured out who it's to, and I figured out how long in the future I want this to be for. 
And I'm start with my message over here. To future Mr. Hadley. I haven't quite figured out the message yet. While writing to your future self, uh, to future Mr. Hadley for me, uh, you, it might be interesting for you to you know write down some questions as far as like, how are you now? And then you can write down how you're doing right now now in the present. Think about questions you could ask your future self. I'm gonna to start to think about a drawing that I can make. So I'm taking some time to think about what kind of drawing I wanna make on my postcard. And what I'm actually gonna do right now is I'm gonna look outside right now and I can see outside my window that's kind of overcast. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to draw what I see outside. So I see some trees. I see some clouds in the sky. And I definitely hear some cars go by. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw a truck over here. I'm actually gonna use the fact that I can use words and pictures. Fun fact. Did you know that when postcards were first invented in the 1800s, that you couldn't actually send a postcard with both a picture and some writing? You either had to send a postcard with just a picture or writing. All right, back to the video. Today is a cloudy day. But, I think that's true. Been outside a little bit today. So, and what I can also do as well is I can actually write today's date and then that would be kind of interesting uh, to look at it uh, for the future. And you can write the place where you are. Man. All right, so that's the lesson for today. And I really want to emphasize the fact that you all can draw and write whatever you would like to draw and write, okay? This is just one way to go about this lesson. Whatever you can draw and write is a way of you communicating to your future self. And I think that's pretty interesting. As far as I'm concerned, at least for me, I know that looking back at a letter that I wrote to myself from in the past and reading it now, it just it's interesting for me to look back and see where I was as opposed to where I am now. All right? So again, just one way to do this. You can go about it any way you want to go about this, okay? Writing and drawing, it's up to you, all right? So... I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for following along. I look forward to making another video for this coming Monday. I hope you all have a great weekend. I will see you all on Monday. Bye. Final fun fact. Did you know that people actually collect postcards? And if you did, there's actually a word for collecting postcards. You know what it is? It's called Deltiology. Cool, right?